Hey, do you want to learn how to make a simple fancy photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we get started, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for more awesome, unique videos like this. So let's get started. All right, in order to pull this off, we need images. Have my already. If you don't, you can import yours. Doesn't matter, you can import any image you want. Then, uh, the second thing we need is audio. Don't worry, you can use the one you have in your library. Then, the, the third thing we need is we need green screen. But don't worry about that. If you don't have it, I'll link it in the description below so you can download it and use it for free. So let's get started. Drag down your images one after the other. Just hold it and drag it to the track on the timeline one after the other and align them. Make sure they, there's no gaps in between. Align them and drag them down one after the other. All right, when you're done with that, the next thing we need to do is to crop the feed. So right click on it and go to crop and zoom and change the ratio to 16 line and click OK. Go to the next image and do the same thing. We need to get rid of the blank space by the side. So right click, go to crop and zoom, then change it to 16 line. Do the same to all your other images, one after the other. All right, now that we're done with cropping our images, the next thing we need to do is animation. So let's start animation. Right click and go to crop and zoom. Click on pan and zoom. Then adjust, adjust the inner box. You can make it smaller. Those two, bo two boxes there or two windows, you can drag them and move them around. Let's move to the second one, right click and click on uh, crop and zoom and pan and zoom. Then you move the inner box to where the two windows, you can move them to where you want the zoom in to start from and where you want it to end. And you can toggle it between the this icon right there to swap, to swap the zoom in. When you do that, you can test it when it's okay. You click OK. You move to the next one and do the same thing. Go to right click and go to crop and zoom. Then you click on pan and zoom. Then you adjust the zoom box, the smaller box. And it's OK. You click OK. You move to the next one, do the same thing. Just go one after the other and do the same thing to your images. All you need to do is to drag in is to drag these boxes to where you want the image to start and where you want it to end. And you can test it. If the movement is okay, you leave it. If it's not, you can swap. You can toggle in between the movement by clicking the swap icon. So do the same to all your images, one after the other. All right, now that we're done with our animation, 
the next thing we need to do is to pre-render it and see how just for a smooth playback all right click on play and let's see our progress so far so this is what we have isn't it awesome I think it's okay just go through it if it's not okay just go back and make some changes the next thing we need to do let's go to our file where we'll find our green screen right there so unzip it and open it and highlight all and drag and drag them to drag them to the library drop them right there we can scroll this is what we have all we need to do is to drag everything to the timeline to the track on the timeline the top one so now that we have everything aligned the next thing we need to do is to key out the green screen so you can click on it then click on that icon right there and it should bring you to the green screen window click on the green screen then you can change you can make some changes there or you can drag and make sure the green screen is off and the image is bright so when you're done with that now we need to reduce the opacity so let's go to composite and reduce it to 50 or probably let's just change it to 30 30 we want it to be transparent to so something like this so it's okay so click ok then let's see what we get something like this ok move to the next one click on that icon and key out the green screen click on the green screen and change that to, to 6 then go to compositing and re, re, reduce the opacity to 30 and move to the next one click on it and click on that icon change the first uh, box to 6 then you go to opacity and change it to 30 do the same to all the other green screen all you need to just adjust it and make sure the green screen is out and and your video is looking brighter and also you reduce the opacity to 30 so take your time and do the same thing to all the other images or do the same thing to all the other green screen one after the other all right if you notice the green screen we have there is not up to the other doesn't cover the other images so all we need to do is just to copy and paste from all these other ones we have you can copy and then you paste it right there and you adjust it you can go and copy any other one come back there paste it there adjust it and let's go back and copy two more and just to fill in of all for the other images so let's copy the last one paste it there and arrange it now we have everything covered now you can go ahead and test it and see what we have if it's okay you go ahead if it's not you can go back and make some changes so far this is what we have isn't it awesome so just just go through if there's anything you need to change you can go back and make some changes but i think so far so good we're doing well here yeah? so the last thing we need to do is to uh, we can add some music some background music and just like i told you you can use the one in your library just drag it down just drag it down and drop it on the timeline on the last track on your timeline And you can make some adjustment to it just listen to it. if it's too loud you reduce the volume 
and you can go through it and cut out any parts you don't want so like this then this i cut out the last part then you can add fade in and fade out when you're done you test it listen to you watch it over and over again when you're fully satisfied the next thing we need to do is to click on export button and have your final product talking about your final product this is our final product check it out isn't it awesome If you enjoyed this video and find it valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more awesome and unique videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. And don't forget to leave a comment below, I love it. Be sure to watch the videos on the screen that we handpicked for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.